Well then, hello people, what is going on? I'm Jake Jacob, and welcome to the bonus episodes of Let's Play Pokemon Bolt White version. Nothing really to say here before my normal intro, so let's just walk downstairs, because we can. Um. Why do I? <laughs> what? Uh, um. <laughs> This, um, uh, this is Looker. You, if you've played Pokemon Platinum, you've probably seen him before. Um, I don't remember exactly what he does because I haven't played through Platinum from the beginning in forever and a half because I'm too scared to delete my old save file. Pretty much, he's trying to stop down, stop the organ evil organizations of each region, starting from Sinnoh, probably gonna go upwards. Here, apparently we got a... Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. One, something just tried to open up next to my emulator, so I'm kind of annoyed by that. It, it, I'm, I'm so happy it didn't pop over. Um, first, what he just gave us is a Granicea. Something, an item that came from Sinnoh. Specifically, that Pokemon... Switches the legendary Pokemon Shaman into its legendary form. Into pff, legendary form. Sky form. It's already legendary. However. Eh. Pretty much what he wants us to do. We're going to go all across Sinnoh and arrest the seven sages. Gets included. And if my emulator is running a little bit slower, that's because one, I have about seven different things open. Because I'm planning to do something in this episode that will be boring as hell, and I will most likely either post commentate and or no commentate. And now, the National Dex mode. Which we've already had for a while. Because, Pokegen. Ugh, pretty much. If you don't know what National Pokédex is, it allows you to see all Pokémon from previous generations. This concept was introduced in Gen 4, and probably will exist from any game onward. So, let us... Metagross is the only one who knows fly. <sighs> Which means I have to run all the way over here. Damn it. Okay, we're just gonna bring out Metagross because it knows fly. Still don't understand how that works. And well, wallpapers, that commemorate your six set what? I'm sorry, what? Misc? Focus no. Special. This is interesting. Huh. I know I have the Zekrom in this version, but personally I just prefer Reshiram's look better. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, <laughs> apparently you get that when you beat the Elite Four or whatever occasion. So I'm gonna put, um, him back in there. And put, actually move Zekrom into my Legendaries box, which is going to hold all the Legendary Pokemon we're we'll be catching in this game. Um, first of which, the session of them, where I, where I record catching all of them, will probably happen next episode. Pretty much I'll be going through all the places we've already been, and catching them. The reason we're not doing that now, because there's actually something I want to take care of first. We're going to be going first to... In Bossa City. Because there's something there you want to do. Also, we're going to be exploring the entire other half of Unova. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. So let's just go to Nabasa first, and let's do what we need to do. Now, the funny part is, I don't remember exactly what building this is. I could just read some signs, and walk through the door that 
pretty much says it. This is the Battle Subway. We kind of met, saw someone who was here before, but we never actually did anything. Pretty much what this is, it's kind of like the Battle Tower in the Sinnoh and Hoenn regions. Huh. Judge potential Pokemon. Judge my Absol. Decent. Best potential lies in special defense, really? It just fucks you. Pretty much, you have a choice between a soup between regular trains. Well, pretty much, you have. Okay, let me try to explain this. There are six or seven off the bat that I can remember different trains. One for single battles, one for special single battles, double battles, special double battles. Then it goes to end in Ville Town, which I'll explain in a minute. And then multi trains, which I think you team up with a the other gender counterpart of yourself. Um, alt another multi train. And then the light blue is Wi-Fi. I I'm sorry if you actually just heard that. Um, pretty much what in Ville Town is every time you when you beat seven battles, you'll get you'll pretty much get a flag. Well a marker kind of thing, and by going into going to Vale Town you can get some stuff. Pretty much I'm gonna be showing off the first, the regular single battles and the double battles in this video. However, because it'll take an exceptionally long time, I'm just gonna speed it up and play probably music from either Bastion or Mystery Dungeon 2. I can't really say right now because yeah. So <clears throat> I'm actually just gonna go in the train because I kinda don't know what I'm doing. Oh, actually, that's it. let's just be seen. Oh, subway, god, why did you single train here? You like to board the single train board. Pretty much, you're allowed three Pokemon for this one. I'm going to take the team of Absol, Ogorona, and. <gasps> Oh, that didn't mean to do that. I'm taking Absol. No, I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Absol, Rodham, and I want to say Flygon, but at the same time I want to say Volcarona. One of the two. Any, mini, money, mo. Okay. Any, no, 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 Confirm. And you pretty much just start on a long spread of single battles. The the regular train goes up to 21 battles. Well, 21, you have 21 battles in the 21 of which, 21st of which, sorry, is a kind of like a boss battle. Um, don't know how I'll be showing that off, but yeah. Pretty so explanatory. If you've played, you've done anything, yeah, you should know what it is. I'm pretty sure you actually get healed between each battle. So, yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna show the first battle off just because I can. Pretty much you're going to go teams against teams of three. The teams are gonna be relatively small and all Pokemon are moved to level 50. And items are not a thing you can use. So I'm actually gonna use Super Power because Absol has a fighting type move. Screw you, little tiny Rockerola. Um, the same, the same rules for this single train apply for the double train, except in the double train, you are only capable of doing, well, not capable of doing, you have, what's what I'm trying to say? You can choose four Pokemon because it's a double battle instead of having the three, you can have a single. And I'm going to need to switch out because Absol is kind of in a problem. Okay, I've come to the conclusion that if a, you hit something with a super effective move, it pretty much kills it, because level 50. <sighs> well, Grano, you better be some help. Be a bit of help. Heat wave, you hopefully kill them. So yeah, this is the kind of thing. Not really much else to say, though. So yeah. You also don't get experience. Which is kind of a bummer because I kind of wanted to get some level ups. 
Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. And Quick Claw lets it go first. Yeah, this is kind of a thing. It'd be kind of boring just me to go for battle after battle, but whatever. Uh, you do get healed between the these, right? Yeah, you do. So, yeah. You actually just can also choose whether to save that recorded battle, continue, rest, which will mean you save the game, you can turn it off from turn by returning to the pause menu, the, the main menu, and then retire. Going through the entire thing, and then showing off the boss battle at the end. So, yeah. This is going to take a while. Also going to do the double battles in this video. Mother God, this is going to take a while. Mm -hmm.